Welcome, I'm Susie Celine to another edition of Susie's Las Vegas. I, I have uh, Frank Fopiano in the studio with me and I have Kurt Russell who is going to be joining us from Laps for Charity, Las Vegas Speedway. Hi Frank, how are you? Good Susie, good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. We're going to be talking about some fun stuff today, aren't oh, we? Oh, I always can talk about Corvettes and cars. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So, so with us, we're going to talk about uh, Speedway Children's Charities. I know that's one of your favorite uh, events that you have going. We've done it for, I don't know, six, seven years. You know, it's uh, Vegas Valley Vets' way of giving back to the community, children's charities. I mean, it's a great charity. Paula Anderson does a great job. And it's just great to get out there in your everyday street legal vehicle and get out on the racetrack. So. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are yeah. you getting all excited? Oh, yeah, every year. <laughs> you know, even though I've done it seven, eight times, I look forward to it every year. So you get your car all tuned up and you're ready to go, huh? Great. Get the proper air pressure in the tires and away we go. So, so tell me a little bit about how many years you've been doing this. I think we've been doing it as a club maybe six, seven years, uh, even during the pandemic, we did it. Uh, we, we're the support group, Paulette Anderson depends on Vegas Valley Vets, the supply, the manpower to, to set this all up. So on the uh, 8th of March, we'll go out there about 20 of us and we'll set up the staging areas with the cones and everything getting ready for Sunday. It's a, you know, people don't realize the work behind the scenes to get this set up. And then we have about 20 people that work on Sunday during the event, uh, you know, that, that everyone gets through in a safe and timely manner. But uh, it's a great event. Uh, so, so you set up on the 8th, two days before? We set up before. Friday afternoon on the 8th at two o'clock. Uh, bunch of our members come out, help set up the staging lanes. All those cones you see just yeah. don't get there by themselves. So, <laughs> but uh, Well, it must be a fun event for everybody. Oh, you know, I work on Friday, but I don't work on Sunday. So I lead a group of uh, 10, 20 Corvettes down to the track on Sunday. I meet them up at the post office, 215 in Jones, and then we head to the track. And then we wait for our stage in time and we get out there, we do our thing. And, you know, it, it's always a fun event. You know, everyone looks forward to it. There's, there's my yeah. my pace car right there. Uh, so, uh, you know, till you've been out there on the speedway, and like I say, a 22 first turn, 22 degree grade, I couldn't walk up that. Wow. Even there at the the finish line, that's like a that's 5 the finish line there. Grade, but uh, you know, it's a rush when you get out there up on the wall and you slingshot out back into the straightaway. Well, that it, sounds like fun. No. Oh. I'll have to try that with you. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Yeah. You know, just Well, what what is that picture of? This is all of us stage and getting ready to, you know, we stay 10 cars at a time and we get ready to go out on the Ten vehicles at a time. The pace car. Oh, ten at a time. Ten at a time. Wow. For safety, and uh, the pace car leads off, and then we follow. So, uh, five tracks, five times around the track, for the car clubs at sixty-five dollars. Uh, for the public, it's, which opens at one o'clock, it's seventy-five dollars. But you know, if you haven't been out there on the speedway and you're a NASCAR fan, this is a must. So. Well, it sounds fabulous. It's what a week after the race. Yeah. The race is this coming. Uh, this Sunday. is NASCAR weekend. Yeah. And so it's a week after the race, uh, but it's such a fun event to do. And then a bunch of us afterwards will go out, have something to eat on Sunday, you know, for lunch, and 
And by that time, I'm ready to go home and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kurt Russell's going to be joining us, too. Yeah. From, uh, Kurt, the president know, of the Vegas Valley Yeah, Vets. There he is. Hi, Kurt. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. We're, we're glad to have you with us today. Well, well, thank you. And so, you know, I've been, uh, I've been the chairman of this event for the last seven years, I believe. Uh, and the club, the club has totally sponsored this event and we've kind of made it our own event where we, uh, we set, like Frank said, we set it up, we tear it down. There's a big group of us that work the day of, and, you know, we're just so, we're so happy to support the charity that gives so much back to our community, but also supports, you know, our local community, our children in need. I think it was last year uh, that we gave out five hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Five hundred and twenty. Wow. Yeah, five hundred and twenty thousand dollars. The Speedways Children's Charity uh, gave out to local groups, local children's charities here in our in our community, uh, and I think. You know, if I'm reading the reports correctly, I think they gave out like $4.2 million throughout the country. So this Speedway wow. and, and multiple other Speedways through NASCAR and the France family and, and all, of, all of the entities that are involved created this uh, charity to benefit children throughout our country. And so, you know, it's a really great charity uh, and it really took off in Las Vegas where we actually had to include a second event that we do in August. Uh, typically we do it in August. This year, I believe it'll be September the 4th. Don't hold me to that ex exact date, <laughs> but uh, we do one at night. And so that kind of, you know, NASCAR over the last few years has evolved into day and night racing. So it's mm -hmm. really fun to get your car out there at nighttime and see the lights and experience, as Frank said, the, the banking and the speed and, and, you know, to do all of that in your own street legal vehicle, then it's really, really an exciting time. That sounds fabulous. It really does. So, so tell me something, can people uh, register in person or online? No, after the pandemic, we, it all went to online and we used to be able to do it there at the track, but after the, uh, after COVID, we found that it was so much better to have everybody pre-registered and paid and that, you know, the event went so much smoother. Now we do keep it open. So let's just say a person really wanted to go again, or they wanted to do the VIP experience, they could get out their cell phone and do it online, but there's not an actual person that you can register with at the track for the event. Wow. That's amazing. So what about you, Kurt? Are you out there racing too? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, we, you know, some of those pictures that you showed, we have a media day. Our media day this year will be uh, March the 6th. We certainly welcome you to come out and get some of those exciting shots. Uh, and then on those days, I get a little more chance to get out on the track with the other folks and, and uh, have some fun. You know, certainly the day of, I think we spend a little more time kind of making sure everybody else has a fun and safe day. Well, that sounds absolutely awesome. I know Frank keeps talking about it and telling me about it. I'm going to have to do this, too. So as long as my vehicle is street legal, you mean I could bring my Mas Maserati out there and take take a drive? Yeah, absolutely. You can bring any sort of street legal car. The, uh, the speed limit is 75. And we do have another... Uh, we do have another level that I think Frank just didn't mention, and that is the VIP experience. And with the VIP experience, you get to do seven laps behind the pace car, and it is really, really fun. And it doesn't matter if you have a Honda Civic or a Maserati. You can bring any of them uh, and, and have just as much fun. We, I tried. I was going to have it set up, but we had a couple challenges. But uh, I have some cool shots of this uh, Converse. It was a car made into a converse that we had out there a <laughs> really? few years ago. It was really, really cool to see that big shoe out there racing around. <laughs> it sounds absolutely fabulous. You can tell you love what you're doing. I mean, this is just oh, amazing. And the guy from Counts Customs, Haunty Mike, 
takes his big school bus out there with the horns, big, big green school bus, and he does laps for charity most most years. Is he? Well, you, you... well, the nice thing about oh, I'm sorry. The nice no, thing about ahead. following. The nice thing about following NASCAR is, you know, we get our whole community get to see NASCAR on the track. And then a week later, you know, you get to do the same kind of things. You get to have your, your street legal race car out or your street legal car out there on the track and experience some of the same views that the guys had just the week before, you know, and so that that's really fun. And then we also find that we have, you know, a couple of things that we'd mentioned, we find that we have folks that just want to get out on the track but maybe maybe they want to take a little bit more easy approach they just want to ride around and do a tour you know yeah. and so we welcome those folks uh we've we've had small children they have to be i believe they have to be above six years old uh to ride in the car and they all have to have a seat belt on okay. but you know we've had pets out there uh you know people <laughs> that bring we have one guy that brings his slingshot and he has his sidekick his dog that rides in there and he's all harnessed in yeah. with his goggles on and it's fantastic <laughs> to see you know to see the fun and the community spirit that goes in to the speedways children's charity is really phenomenal wow that's absolutely amazing kurt how many years again uh has this been going on out there well i believe the uh the laps for charity in las vegas has been going on for 11 years um i think this is their 11th season but this is about, I want to say, the sixth or seventh season that the Vegas Valley Vets have really stepped up and kind of been the, the main car club for the event. And so, uh, you know, we, we set it up. We work the day of. You know, we welcome our, all of our colleagues and friends from the other car groups here in Las Vegas. You know, we have Camaros and Mustangs and Porsches and every kind of car club you can imagine, they they typically show up in the morning. And that's a pretty tight knit group, even though we have a different interest in mind and different types of cars in mind, we all know one another. So it's a chance for a little bit of community involvement where we get to see our friends and people that's like-minded while also supporting such a great cause. Hey, Kurt, didn't we have a couple of celebrities out there last year, kids? The car and we we have you know we've had tons of celebrities and we've had a <laughs> lot of uh mock celebrities so yeah we did have um the kit car out there last year and we've had others as well you know i can think back to a, i think it was two two years ago we had a a, a v a rv out there what do, you, what do you call it a winnebago that's the word i'm looking for and it, uh <laughs> You know, we certainly kind of discouraged that going forward because it, it kind of slowed things down a bit. But, you know, typically if it's a street legal car and, and we get them out there 10 cars at a time, we welcome all cars and all people. And uh, and that's the thing. If you have your friends that you want to run with, then, you know, they come out together. I, I can think of numerous other uh, car clubs that come out in our community and support the event. And, but you don't have to be, you know, you can just be on your way to the grocery store and swing by and take a couple hot laps. Uh, <laughs> we certainly welcome that. Well, I can tell Frank's doing a countdown on how many days it's going to be till he gets a chance to do this. <laughs> oh, Frank has a really good time. And, and like Frank said, Frank, uh, Frank is usually the first one there on setup and really helps us, you know, get it all set up and then you know, the day of the event, he he helps drag all the other people that maybe are not able to help that day or they just want to drive their own car. So they brings a good group from the Vegas Valley Vets out and they take, you know, their five to seven hot laps around and, and have a really fun day out of it. Wow. Well, NASCAR is uh, March uh, 1st to the 3rd. Can you tell me what activities are going on for ticket holders out there? Absolutely. There's tons of opportunities for ticket holders. And so, you know, I don't know how familiar you are with, with the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, but it, it's a fun-filled weekend with tons of stuff. And then, you know, I'll throw out a little plug for our, for our charity. We have a track treasure store that is down there where you have all kinds of really vintage uh, car, NASCAR prizes, shirts, 
uh, race cars and, and past memorabilia that really help support the charity, you know, and then like if you're my age or, or maybe Frank's age, you know, you remember back to the days where, where NASCAR was a lot different than it is now, but it's really fun to go back and visit memory lane and be able to buy some of that memorabilia from back in the day and also still support our charity. And, you know, the, the races itself, they really, they, they bear no introduction because everybody knows how much fun it is to see NASCAR racing and Xfinity racing uh, all weekend. And that, that kind of really speaks for itself, but it's definitely a whole weekend adventure. Wow. Well, you mentioned uh, you have something now and then you have something in the fall. Uh, also, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure. So this, this event has actually been postponed. It usually happens uh, the first, the last Sunday in January. And then we have pretty much been doing the first or second week in August for a night event for the last few years. This year, due to Las Vegas being so popular with with the big game and, and so many other things around NASCAR that it's just busting at the seams over there at the track. So early September, I believe it's September the 4th, we'll have our night event. And so we're still kind of throwing it back and forth, whether we're, we've always had it on a Friday night, we're thinking about making it a Saturday night shootout this year and having it on Saturday night so more people can come out and really enjoy the track at night and get, you know, one of the things I did, I just thought of as I was telling you that is everybody that participates gets a really nice photo that they can digitally download from the website of their car on the racetrack. And man, the cars really look good at night under the lights. Oh, wow. That sounds absolutely fantastic. So Frank, what do you think about that? Are you involved in, in the fall also? Uh -huh. It depends whether I got something going on at Brian Head. I missed the last couple, but uh, usually around Labor Day, I take advantage of the summer up at Brian Head. So, uh -huh. but I always, always make the one in January. Yeah. I mean, back when NASCAR started, I think we used to race the my day Model A's. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he's telling you how old he is. <laughs> You and I are I young whippersnappers. <laughs> I, I had a clue that he had a couple days on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like fine wine. I age with time. So. Yeah, yeah. Very well. Well, this is wonderful. I'm so glad we had a chance to uh, get together and talk about all this. I just, I think we should mention Paula and Anderson. Absolutely. And she's the nucleus of the whole laps for charity. Maybe Kurt can elaborate elaborate on that. Yeah. So absolutely. Paulette has built a really a really amazing team. And you know, I know that while Paulette deserves tons of credit, I know just from past experience with her how much she also wants to spread that to the entire board. And there is an entire board of twelve to sixteen members, you know, there at the racetrack that really, you know, within our community that really pitch in all year long and, and do a lot of work, all volunteer force. And, you know, Paulette is the, the team lead of that. And she's the first one there and the last one to leave. Wow. And, you know, just really a great organizer and has been a huge asset for the Speedway's Children's Charity, not to mention Chris Powell, the Speedway's president, who also, 100% supports this, you know, opens up the track, turns on the lights, gives us free reign of this great facility and uh, allows such a phenomenal event to happen, you know, with all the proceeds going to the children in our community because there's absolutely no cost that the Speedway charges us to put on this event. Wow. That's totally amazing. Special thanks to both uh, Paulette and to Chris and to the whole board. I mean, this is this is totally amazing. I'm so glad that you came on today. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about that, w that we've missed? Well, I would mention that, you know, that this is one of our premier events, but we also have, you know, I think uh, we have the dis uh, glittering lights that happen that, you know, isn't primarily only our event, but they sponsor 
the Speedway's children's charity hugely. And then we have the, uh, the South Point car show that happens and we have the PJ 4K. So I would tell you that, you know, maybe you can't make this event. Maybe you can't make the event in August, but please go to our website, Speedway's Children's Charities of Las Vegas and check out all the cool and amazing events that we have that benefit children in our community. And maybe there's one that you can really find passion around. Oh, that's wonderful. And also, I'd like to thank all the members of the Vegas Valley Vets that donate the time to make this happen. Without Vegas Valley Vets, it probably wouldn't have the manpower to put this on. Definitely. And, and you know, the Vegas Valley Vets is, is something really, it's a great organization here in our community. Uh, our primary uh, charity is helping homeless veterans in our community. And, you know, but certainly we put forth a lot of effort to uh, support children in need. And that's, you know, that's one of our charities that we support. You know, we have about 150 members and, you know, every one of them do something to contribute to this event and other events throughout the year. One of the events that Susie really likes every year that she's attended is Auto Fest. Can you elaborate, uh, talk a little about Auto Fest and Chef Will? Oh, sure. So Auto Fest happens in September of each year, and that's over at the Red Rock uh, Country Club. And, you know, it's a great event, and uh, Chef William is a great su supporter of our club and the car community here in Las Vegas. Now, they have a different charity each year that benefits from the proceeds of that event, and we're certainly trying to bring those two events together where we can help one another. But, you know, Vegas Valley Vets is deeply involved with Auto Fest as well. And, you know, as I said, the Red Rock Country Club and Chef William definitely support the Vegas Valley Vets and help us throughout the year. This is just fabulous. There are so many things that I'm learning today. I absolutely love this. Frank? Uh, I know you enjoyed Auto Fest. And, like, we, I think Chef Will asked Kurt to bring at least 70 Corvettes for our 70 years, 70 years of Corvettes last year. Kirk can fill us in on that. Wow. We did. So so last year, you know, we kind of uh, got a little challenge from, from the chef for their event. And, you know, I've, I've had numerous different challenges every year. Maybe it was muscle cars. But this year, considering that it was the 70th anniversary of the Chevrolet Corvette, the challenge was to get 70 Corvettes and to have one of each uh, each style. So there's there's eight different generations of Corvettes. Right. And so we did. We pulled it off. We had just a little over 70 Corvettes. Uh, we we did borrow a couple from a couple other clubs to to reach our goal, and uh, we reached the goal. But and we also had, you know, a Corvette from every generation. I believe we almost had a Corvette from every year, but uh, we yeah. certainly had a Corvette from every generation. I even contributed myself uh, by going out and buying another Corvette just to bring to the <laughs> event. <laughs> really? Oh my God, that's fabulous. <laughs> but Absolutely. Maybe we can convert Jeff Will from Porsche to a Corvette. What do you think? Oh, we're certainly working on that, you know, and then I, I certainly encourage anybody to definitely get in a Corvette. There's, it's the most fun you can have on four wheels. And, you know, it's one of the very few iconic American cars that haven't changed over the years. And, you know, it just stands alone. And then just the community involvement that wraps around, you know, the Vegas Valley Vets and Speedway's Children's Charity and the Red Rock uh, Country Club certainly you know is a is a big big following that uh we welcome anybody and i i think that's why you have so many people because you know our club the vegas valley vets is so warm and welcoming to all communities and all people that you know we don't even we don't even you know disqualify you if you don't have a corvette yet because we know you're going to get one when you see how cool they are uh maybe maybe in the future we can get chef will to talk about auto fest this fall. Yeah. I know uh, Susie loves going. Tell yeah. us your take of auto fest. I absolutely loved it. 
when when I when I went and I saw all of the Corvettes, I mean, it was just a sight to behold. And you know, it's right next door. I live at the Ridges, and the amount of people that were at Auto Fest was just amazing. How they put that many people in there. So that was your your game plan on that. So you actually got a Corvette too. And then Frank, he's got a fabulous Corvette. Yeah, just one now. Unfortunately, yeah. he sold the other one. <laughs> ah. He does, and and I certainly can't take credit for all of that. I I. Uh... You know, I certainly pushed hard to try to get as many people as I could to come and participate. But, you know, just like the board at the Speedway Children's Charity, there's a board at the Vegas Valley Vets. And and they work day in and day out to kind of make our events spectacular and make our club, you know, what it is today and what it's grown into. And we certainly appreciate all of that, you know. And so all of those come to team leaders and good teams and, you know, great members and you know great involvement in the community and and all of that has kind of made it what it is oh that's wonderful when susie i had to keep on pulling away from the two hundred fifty thousand dollar ferrari she kept on going back and back <laughs> i think she was, she was seriously thinking about buying one <laughs> <laughs> well don't stop with just one you know you got to get one for every day of the week well that's true <laughs> that's true but but you've opened up my eyes and it, it was a pleasure to have you on the show today kurt and i look forward to having you back again and i thank you so much and and i want to thank paulette again for putting this all together and frank uh, folks piano i mean this was a fabulous show thank you again is there anything you'd like to say in closing no ma'am thank you for uh raising awareness uh to to our event and we certainly hope that we can get you there and you know if if frank doesn't make it for both events then i certainly uh will extend my invitation and be glad to take you for a spin around the track in my car i would love that it's a date thank you so much and in All the right. future, we okay. got to get Chef Will here with us yeah. to promote Auto Fest yes. sometime Sounds in the like future. Sounds like a plan. Yes. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Well, that's our show for today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And again, I want to thank Paulette, uh, Speedway Charities. I want to thank Kurt Russell. And I absolutely want to thank my co-host here. Frank Fopiano, and I look forward to being out there and maybe taking a spin around the Speedway. We're going to get her out there March 10th yeah. and bring a change of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. That's our show for today.